behind bars now and he had given his justification of what he did. So I'm writing a letter to him who was the perpetrator for the victims in Quebec and who became the inspiration for the killer in New Zealand. And also is a message to those politicians who use hate as a tool. So this is a letter to all of them. Like yours, I have heard many stories so hateful and full of gory. Where humanity had failed, morality cried and wailed. However, your story is not so unique. Your narrative is old and weak. To kill others, you have to demonize. To kill others, you have to dehumanize. You say you did this so that your family can be saved from who? Those terrorists, religion of peace they claim. Those who you say rejoice at every terror attack. Any morals or feelings you believe these people lack. We left our lands to this abode where dignity and justice is to be the code. Uprooting from our families, our lovers, like settlers of the past, but of different colors. Hating another being for how they look, with all that hate, your heart did not shook. I cannot scrub this color off my skin, nor my faith, nor erase my king. I am not going to plead the likes of you that our life struggles are the same as you. We toil at work to make ends meet, worried what to cook tonight, what to eat. Our heart also breaks when an innocent is killed. We also cried when a shooter reached the Parliament Hill. But let me say aloud, you and him are the same. The only difference is in your name. When you kill, there is no talk of a wall, no talk of porous borders, no immigration overhaul. When you kill, a community is not questioned. Their loyalty to this land and their position. To you and every hate monger out there, your only weapon is nothing but fear. Our fight against your hate is eternal. For you, our joining hands together is a hurdle. To those men of power, the politicians out there, if you choose hate as your warfare, you might win this temporal authority, but you will lose a nation's peace and its solidarity. From Quebec to New Zealand, the story is the same. You bring all of humanity to shame. Your argument is weak and lame. We stand together to take back and reclaim. We will keep this land glorious and free. We have promised to stand guard for thee. This is our home and native land. True patriot love in all of us command lying beneath the soil. Those you have killed are like pools of reflection in which we should sink to jolt this nation of what casual hate can do towards violence your young mind was subdued. You kill a human is like you have killed humanity. You save a life is like you have saved humanity. I have hope for many of us stand together against your bigotry, your friends of all weather. For now, we have cleaned the blood off the mosque's walls. Another nation faced a test together and stood tall. We will not let the likes of you to add fuel. We will not divide for the likes of you to rule. We will not let your hate win over us. We will not let your bigotry prevail over us. You might have killed some of us, but you cannot kill 
the spirit of love within us. You might have killed some of us, but you cannot kill the spirit of Canada within us. You might have killed some of us, but you cannot kill the spirit of New Zealand within us. Thank you.